Bill Nye solar cell crashes, cryogenic freezing getting closer, graphene could now be a thing, electronic controls on your genes, a new way to get 800% more juice out of your batteries, killer robots are learning to jump, Windows 10 is almost out, and a new light that runs off of gravity. These are today's bits. Around May 23rd, a bug in the Linux software onboard Bill Nye's crowdfunded solar cell experiment has caused it to crash and become unresponsive. Every 15 seconds, the light cell would transmit and log data. When that data file got to 32 megabytes, it would just crash. So apparently the light cell is running on a 16-bit CPU. For those of you who don't know, those are used on calculators and computers from the 70s. Don't fret though, over the weekend, it came back to life and started transmitting again. Good thing is, is that they worked out a solution on the ground while it was silent and now it's back up, so they have a good chance of completing their experiment, which of course is to see if they could propel a spacecraft using only the sun's energy. Let's just hope that if they are successful, the next spacecraft that goes into space loaded with this has a little bit more than just a calculator to power it. New studies on worms have produced some interesting results on retaining memory after being thawed out. I will link in the description if you want to read more on how some animals are biologically superior to us when it comes to handling freezing temperatures. But the cliff notes are that these types of tests are leading us to being able to be frozen and thawed out without being killed. It's a long ways away, but hey, baby steps. Graphene. Man, I love graphene. This wonder material has sparked my interest with a never-ending supply of state-of-the-art applications and breakthroughs. Everything from water filters that could solve fresh water problems everywhere to computer chips that are a bazillion times faster than what we have today. The biggest problem though, it's hard as hell to mass produce. Well, a new technique from some MIT researchers shows some real promise in mass producing graphene on a large scale. This method they use is extremely complicated, so pay attention. They make it start in this end here, and then it goes to this thingy over there, and then it does a little squiggly thing here, and then gas comes out here, and they do something here, and then BAM! Graphene. If that was too complicated for your simple mind to follow, then I will link in the description. Have you ever wanted to use your nipples as volume controls for your phone? You know, rub it this way for volume up, rub it this way for volume down? No? Well, too bad, because Google wants you to do exactly this. Okay, maybe not use your nipples for volume, but they do want you to be able to use something like a shirt or your jeans to control smart devices. Dub Project Accord, Google is teaming up with Levi to weave technology into any form of clothing, turning them into interactive surfaces. They actually have a video you can watch here if you want to know more details. But for now, just know that nipple volume control is right around the corner. I don't know if you know this or not, but batteries suck. Everything from AAAs to D cells cost a small fortune and never seem to last very long. The main reason is that most electronic devices require a specific voltage to operate. They do have a range that they can handle, like maybe a verity of 0.1 or 0.2 volts, but as a whole, they need to be close to the 1.5 volts. Batteries by design cannot maintain the 1.5 volts for the entirety of their lifespan. Fact is, on average of only 20% of the battery's capacity is used during that lifespan. Well, a new product called Batterizer is a voltage regulator that will squeeze every last drop it can out of the battery that provides the needed voltage until it's completely dead. This may sound like a small deal, but if you've ever used batteries in something like an audio recorder and had to replace them every two freaking days, then you might be jumping for joy right about now. This new thing can slip right over any existing battery and start saving you money right away. More testing needs to be done to test compatibility with devices and to make sure it doesn't explode. But hey, if this thing works, it's gonna be badass. Not too long ago, I covered a story about a new robot that runs better than humans and can even handle being pushed around or hit by objects. I thought this was kind of cool and all because I knew that if it ever turned on me, all I had to do was run and jump over a curb and it would trip and fall to its death. Well now, not so much. A new killer robot called Cheetah 2 is training for its world debut as a running, jumping star of our nightmares. It can see obstacles coming, adjust its feet, and leap right over it just like a cheetah. Actually, I think it looks more like a disfigured dog, but I won't judge. All I know is that it's one gun mount away from hunting humans, and I find that hilarious. Well, let's be honest here. When robots do finally take over, they're probably going to start with using drones. I mean, running is so five minutes ago. 
The Windows 10 release date and pricing has been leaked by Newegg. According to them, it will release on August 31st and cost $140 for the professional level. Sadly for them though, it was all proven wrong fairly quickly when Microsoft officially released the release date. July 29th. Kicker is, you might have already gotten the notification at the bottom of your screen allowing you to reserve that upgrade spot. Yes, Windows 10 is still free for an upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8, so make sure you get in on it before it expires. Don't worry, you can wait up to a year to make sure that that upgrade is a smart move for you. I would personally recommend that too, because when it comes to software, the early bird definitely gets the bug. I know that's not how it's said, but I just really wanted to make that work. While I have you, let's overview some of the things that Windows 10 is taking away from you. I'm not saying that they're bad, I'm just stating some facts here. Windows Media Center, native DVD playback, desktop gadgets, solitaire, floppy drive support, and OneDrive. Don't worry, a lot of those you'll still get, or you can still get, you just have to work for them. Last on my list today is an awesome new gravity light that is less than a month away from being crowdfunded and produced for people in Africa living in poverty. This new light works by simply raising a weight on a ribbon and letting it fall slowly. It provides free energy to power an LED light, giving the owner very cheap methods of illumination. I would recommend that you check out this video here to learn more about it, but I will link to the crowdfunding page in the description. I think this idea is pretty cool, and after watching the video, it really sheds some light on the living conditions and even how something as simple as a light source can be a nightly struggle. As always guys, if you like this video, make sure to click the like button below. And if you wanna hear- Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! Okay. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday is set tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible! You're not gonna stop there! No! What are you waiting for? Do it!